we're in the same uh, situation when we fight San Jose, so uh, just have to forget about this one and refocus and then get ready for the next one. How did you think the Rome incident impacted the game? I didn't see that yet, to be honest with you. Uh, obviously, I'd have to look at the replay, but uh, I thought we, did, we killed the penalty and uh, we moved on from there, so I don't think it has a big impact. Do you feel you were being targeted by the Bruins out there? Did they win an emotional and energy battle as much as they won an execution battle? I don't, emotional. Uh, did they throw more at you than you did at them in the way of energy and, and being up for this the way they needed to be? I thought we were in good shape going into the second period. We got a tough balance uh, when Eddie broke his stick there, but uh, I thought we had some chances to score some goals. Uh, obviously, they had some better luck and uh, just have to forget about this one and move on. How did you feel about those instances where they're sticking fingers in your face and kind of coming after you there? It doesn't really bother me. Uh, it's, I move on and get ready for the next one. Yeah. Do you feel that they were targeting you? No, not really. Uh, I thought they played everybody hard the same way. And uh, if they did, uh, maybe, I don't know. I just have to be better and I get ready for the next one. How much more punishing do you feel you have to be in the offensive zone? Their defensemen had the chance to engage a lot more tonight, tonight than in the first two games. How much more do you have to do to start getting them back on their goals? I think we just have to have a better puck placement. So I think uh, tonight we didn't make uh, smart decisions through the neutral zone. We just have to be better there and uh, be uh, put pucks where we want to be to be able to forecheck and uh, put some pressure on them. That's a key. Well, was losing the third period loss tonight, Albert, uh, Alexander, uh, impact this series in a real negative fashion for you guys. Uh, anyone doesn't look real good, obviously. It doesn't matter. A loss is a loss, really. And uh, We've uh, took it one game at a time all year, and uh, we were the number one team for, uh, for that reason. And uh, where we got a strong group, a lot of mature people, and uh, we're going to forget about this one and move on. Special teams really struggled tonight, Alex. Power playing and giving up two short How do you, how do you get your head around what went wrong with special teams tonight? Well, we've had good special teams all year, and uh, for some reasons our goalie made some saves, and uh, obviously we had a lot of penalties too, so uh, just have to go back on the video tomorrow, make a few adjustments, and uh, like we've been doing all year, and uh, get ready for the next one. What does tomorrow need to feel like? Does it need to be up tempo? Does it need to be high energy? Or do you need to just take a breath more than anything else and you can kind of look at the yeah. No, we'll probably have a good skate tomorrow and uh, just uh, get ready like we always do. If we have one, we have done the same thing. So it doesn't really matter tonight's result, uh, how we're going to prepare tomorrow. We're going to prepare the same way and uh, get ready. Alex, you get the sense they were motivated by what's been going on the last couple of games, they, by, just by the way they were acting with the, the finger wagging and everything like that? It doesn't matter, they were down to nothing, so they had to play a desperate kind of uh, hockey game and uh, probably match that intensity early and uh, for some reasons uh, we got a little bit from it and uh, they were able to score some goals, so uh, it doesn't ma really matter, we just have to uh, get better next game and uh, get ready. Can't you shake off an 8-1 loss the same way you can on the 3-2 loss? Yeah, I think so. I think we did the same thing in Chicago. We had a bad loss in Chicago and uh, we were able to bounce back. Did you not feel after the first period that you kind of were in pretty good shape? Yeah, for sure. I think uh, we just made the same kind of mistakes in the second period as we did the last game. Uh, we're in the heavily they get hard deep, and that's how they got the pressure. And that's where all the same way against Chicago, you guys were up 3-0 and then actually had a few bad games in a row. And a lot of people are going to draw parallels with Roberto struggling tonight. So. Your thoughts on him bouncing back and not following into rut like he did against Chicago? Well, he's done that all year long, you know, bouncing back, and uh, I think it's uh, you know the whole team needs to bounce back. You know, it wasn't you know he's fault. I think it was the guys in front of him uh, who uh, you know didn't play as hard as uh, as we should have. What did they do differently tonight than they did uh, the first two games in Vancouver? I don't think anything. I uh, you know we talked about before the game that. Uh, uh, what were the keys to the game, and uh, you know the keys to the game were obviously winning one-on-one -on -one battles, and you know they won more battles tonight than we did. Your special teams were really good tonight, obviously. You gave up the short hand goals. And yeah, you know that was another you know reason, obviously, why the score was so high. You know, uh, we weren't uh, sharp enough in our other uh, power play, and uh, you know they made some big plays on those. Yeah. This is a game you can put away. I mean, the disparity of score, it wasn't an overtime. It wasn't, it was an 8-1 game. So this is a game you kind of wash away. Yeah, for sure. You know, we did that against Chicago. I think we had a strong game in the next game, so we have to. Sammy, what is this game and getting this game out of your system the biggest test of? Is it the biggest test of your ability to forget, analyze, tap into new energy? But what's the biggest challenge here? Uh, I don't know if there's a challenge, you know. We're up 2-1. 
uh, going into game four. So uh, our focus is uh, trying to, you know, prepare ourselves for the next game and uh, get our uh, obviously our battle level a lot higher. You know, uh, they obviously won a lot of battles tonight, and uh, I think that's going to be the key. They got the wrong head. Uh, I didn't see that. Do you think it's the kind of head that can change the series? Do you think that's the kind of uh, I didn't see the hit, hit, but you know, obviously, we're obviously glad that you know their guys uh, feeling better. So uh, you know, never want to see get anybody see uh, you know get hurt. Thank you. So much. We should have made a pay, but it's. Uh, Working. Did you get a the sense that all of the extra stuff that had been going on the last couple of days with, with uh, Max and right here with Alex seemed to motivate them? No, I don't think so. I think, <laughs> again, I don't think you need a, a motivator in, in this uh, where we are right now. We're in the finals. Uh, if they need that, that's, uh, that's their problem. Uh, I'm sure their coach is going to take care of what, uh, what their guys did tonight. And, uh, I mean, he, he wasn't guy that was... Uh, going to let that happen on their team, so uh, we'll see what happens. A loss is a loss, but 8-1, uh, I mean, does it make a difference to you guys? It's still 2-1 in the series, but 8-1 after all. Uh, I'd rather lose 8-1 than, than, than like, the way they lost their game, so uh, I mean, this is not about goal, goal differential. It's, uh, we got to outplay, we got we to be better, we know that, and uh, it's going to uh, turn in our, in our favor if they treat it the right way and, uh, and learn something from it. Thanks. No, oh, you don't want to do that in the, in the playoffs. I mean, you you have to look at it and, and learn something from it. Uh, again, I, I think our first event it wasn't it wasn't bad. I mean, we took a five minute penalty, we killed it off. We took, took over the game. Then we we break our stick and uh, they score right away in the second. And that's when they get their momentum. And that's uh, and then they score a few power plays and goals and, and two on, on our power play. That's uh, that can happen. When Horton gets laid out on a blind side hit like that, what do you think as you watch it? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not fun. I mean, I, I hope it's okay. Uh, it's never fun to see a guy go down like that. Uh, I saw up on the big screen that he, he seemed to be all right after all. I don't think it's... Uh, I haven't really seen the replay, but what I saw, I thought it was a late hit. But I, I didn't think it was a blind side. Do you, do you say anything to your teammate? No, I think we're all in, this, in the same kind of mood. I mean, you, you don't like to see a guy... Uh, later like that. I mean, that's uh, that's not what you, even if it's, a, if, 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 if it's a finals or whatever it is, that's, uh, you don't want to see a guy go down like that. But again, it's, I don't think it was, uh, Romer is a, he's a real honest player. Um, I, I didn't think it was a blind side or, or anything like that. A little late maybe, but that's it.